Circle the universe. Move number one. Standing straight up, the sword resting on left hand shoulder. Fingers clasping the sword under the hilt, and index finger points down and under the base of the hilt. Circle large twice in front of you with both arms. Step out with the left leg. Right arm should come to rest with sword resting on forearm. The hilt flat and directly in front of the chest, palm down. The right arm should circle in front and down behind the right, palm down. Bring back leg and front arm forward at the same time. Wide leg stance. Graph sword hilt with the right hand and hold straight up. Lunge into the light, move number two. Grasp sword firmly into the right hand and turn the whole body to the right. Lunge step as you straight strike with the sword to the right. Back arm and left hand should be held out at shoulder level and palm facing up. Weight should be mostly on the front lunge leg. Slice the sky, move number three. Turn the right foot to the face the right and turn the sword so the blade now faces the sky. Slide step with the right foot so it goes ahead of the left foot as you turn waist and left foot to face the left. Slice the sky with the sword to ear level. Bring the left hand back and two fingers rest on the right hilt. Sink into the right hip. The weight should be mostly on the right leg. Whirlwind. Move number four. Step back with the left leg and circle down 360 degrees with the sword. The sword moves like a windmill. The sword now faces straight up. Bring left hand down to rest on the spine of the sword. Feet are hip width apart and both facing to the left, weight in the center. Lunge into the light, move number five. Lunge step as you straight strike with the sword, turning the body to the right. The back arm and hand should be held out at shoulder level, fingers pointing up. The weight should be mostly on the front lunge leg. Chop down the cherry tree, move number six. Turn the waist and body to the left Sword should chop around you and in front at waist level. Do three chops in one position. The sword is facing the left, blade flat, palm is facing up, while the other arm is held out for balance. Flying across the sky, move number seven. Stand with sword facing to the left, the right leg back, behind you bent. The left leg forward is also bent. The left arm is out to the side for balance. Now turn the wrist so the hilt and palm face down. Turn the waist slightly to sink into the left hip and bring the sword across you in front, your blade horizontal. Step with the right leg and swing sword in a large circle in front of you as you step to the side. Bring the back leg behind you as you bring the sword down. Sink into both hips. When this is done quickly, this move leaves an opening to jump as you step, thus flying across the sky. Lunge into the wind. Move number eight. 
lunge step as you side strike with the sword to the right. The back arm and hand should be held out at shoulder level and fingers pointing up. The weight should be mostly on the front lunge leg. The non-dominant hand should have the palm up and sword should lay horizontally, not pointing. Draw a line in the sand. Move number nine. Turn the blade so the point points to the ground. Turn the body and feet to the left. Slide the blade drawing a line just over the ground as you turn and then up in front of you so the point of the sword faces the sky. The left hand comes to wrist. The weight is on the left leg. Sidestep your opponent. Move number 10. Step to the right with the right leg. Now turn the hand, arm and sword so the sword now points to the ground. Now step to the left with the left leg and turn the sword so the point points to the sky. Now step again to the right with the right leg and turn sword so the point points to the ground. Lunge into the light, move number 11. Bring the sword up and lunge step as you straight strike with the sword to the right. Non-dominant hand should be held out at shoulder level and palm facing up. Weight should be mostly on the front lunge leg. Reach for the sky, move number 12. Bring the sword to face horizontally over the head. Hand comes to the wrist. Knee comes up. Prepare to step out with the lifted leg. Under the ocean, move number 13. Slide right leg to the right. Hand follows leg. Sword follows hand. Bring the sword up. Left hand goes to wrist, palm facing wrist. Move number 14. Dance of infinity. Step to bring the feet together. Now step to the side with the right leg three spaces. As you do so, draw with the sword three figure eights horizontally. Bring back hand up and grasp sword hilt. Turn sword upside down and place behind you.